back at you with another video and this is gonna be episode three of light saving strategy and this video I'm gonna talk about saving on shopping so how do you shave on shopping well mostly grocery shopping that's what I'm gonna go over one thing you could do is stick to your grocery list. Don't add anything on it. So look around. You want you need cereal? Just put cereal on a list. You can put beef on a list or whatever. And when you go to the store, just don't grab anything else. <laughs> yeah, I know. It can be tough sometimes. That is one option. Another option Make an amount you do not want to go over. So that's another option you can do. So you go to the store, you tell yourself, I'm not gonna spend no more than $50. Or I'm not gonna spend no more than $100. This makes a price. You just don't wanna go over, no matter what. And you put, if you do go over, you, another thing you could do is get a calculator. That way you can track how much you have. And you may want to round it out. So if we're gonna say maybe you got some milk. It costs like a dollar fifty. You wanna put in two dollars. Maybe there's that. Dessert, I hope I'm saying it right. Dessert or pizza that's like, seven, we're gonna say $7.49, sometimes it's $5, switch around. We're gonna say $7.49, you wanna put $8. And the reason I'm doing that because there's taxes. So you put in the exact price and there's taxes, it's gonna go over. And at some point, maybe you didn't wanna go over 80, so once it hits 80, just don't get any more items. So that is one way. I mean another way. And of course, you, you want to use coupons if you can. So I get coupons from inbox dollars. I don't really go get coupons from a magazine. So I get mine from inbox dollar. Sometimes I see coupons around, I'll take them. So it can take the price off of your grocery items. Of course now, I'm not sure how many people are aware of this, but there's grocery apps. Hopefully if you're watching this video, you probably know what an app is if you don't. <laughs> It's like, where have you been living? <laughs> so, grocery ash I use, like the ones I use is Ibotta, Shot Kick, and Drop. With Ibotta, these are, they're kind of like virtual coupons. But Ibotta can be pretty tricky too, because sometimes you can see discounts on items and it might make you want to buy some, so it can be bad or good. You have self control, it could help. Because sometimes you look at items, they'll be $2 off. What I do not, when I use that bottle, always look for items that I'm going to buy anyway. So when, if I'm going to get like some orange juice, I look on a bar, see if there's any special on orange juice. If not, then. I just move on. Is there a special on milk, for example? I'll look and I'll see something that say a dollar fifty off. I'll click on there. I had done some past meals at Ibotta. One cool thing with Ibotta that they add like last year to it is something called Ibotta Pay. 
So certain places you get a certain percent of discounts. So like GameStop, for example. Right now, I believe it's like 9% 9 off you get. So if you spend like $300 on a <laughs> PS5, I know the PS5 don't exist yet, but I'm just saying that PS5, you're going to get $27 back. That's if you go to GameStop. Well, Walmart, as of January the 10th, 2020, Walmart gives like 1% off if you use Ibotta. And I know it's like 1% don't really seem like a lot. But when you spend like over $100, you're saving a dollar. Maybe there's somebody that's actually spending $1,000 on Walmart. <laughs> I don't know what you'll be buying at called found art on Walmart. But we're going to say you spent, we're going to say you spent like $1,100 on Walmart. So with that amount, you'll get about $11 back. I believe that's 1% of 1100 <laughs> Yeah, I'm doing math in my head. So, yes, it does pretty much help out with the discounts. In case you're probably wondering what I bought a pay actually is, it's pretty much a way you can like scan at the counter. So that's how that works. I know there's quite a bit of apps like that now, but that's how that one works. Shot kit. Cool thing about shot kit, you actually could get points to scan on items. But when you buy an item, like it looks like some sausage and the uh, points are worth $250. Not two hundred fifty dollars, but two hundred fifty. You just buy those sauces and then just take a picture of the receipt with shot kick and get that two hundred and fifty points. And that one does help out. Cause I saved like I got like two fifteen dollars worth of gift cards with Uber. And I use I got it last year. I used Uber for the first time like last week during New Year's. And I was able to save me $30 on Uber. But again, with Shot Kit, you don't want to get too crazy. You might see something that a discount that's like, not a discount, but you might see something that's worth 700 points. It might make you want to get that item. So just get something that you're gonna buy anyway. Just like a bottle. Then there's drop. What I love about drop, you pretty much connect it to your credit card. Like I get for me, I get like eight points for every dollar where I spend at Target. So if I spend two hundred dollars at Target, I'll get sixteen hundred points right there. And these points, they, they actually add up. So like 10,000 points, it's enough to get like $10 gift card for Starbucks, I believe. You get 50,000 points, you get yourself a $50 gift card for, what's that place, hotel.com. That's one example. Get a hundred thousand points, you get yourself a hundred dollar gift card with American Airlines. That's what I'm saving up for. And also, when you shop online, you could you could use these. You could use the Ibotta, Shop Kick, and the Drop app when shopping online. I usually go for a which one ever gives me the more points. Drop usually gives me more points than Shot Kick. But of course, you could get points easier with Shot Kick than with Drop.
of course there's the dots that's another app I honestly don't know if I'm gonna I'm on the verge of deleting my app with dots I'm not too happy with them right now I'm gonna tell you something I use I have connect to my credit card I, was, I wasn't having any problems with it for a while but I went to like this Mexican restaurant I was supposed to get like 5% back I mean, customer service did help me out with it. They gave my points, but here's the thing. I kept, it's not the first time I had to do this, get with customer service. So if I, if I keep having to go to customer service, then I'm probably not gonna wanna keep that app around. They said a reason that it didn't work because it was run as debit, but here's the thing. I did not use a debit card. I mean, it was it is a debit card, but I did not use it as debit. I used it as credit. I did not type in any PIN numbers. So I don't know what happened with dogs. I mean, it may work for you. You might not have any problems with dogs, but I'm just telling you my experience. I'm, most, I'm 99% chance I'm gonna be deleting that <laughs> within a week. Then there's another thing, another way you can save on shopping. Receipt Haul. It's another app. I have talked about my past videos, but with the Receipt Haul, you pretty much take pictures of receipts and you get points. So we're going to say you spent like five dollars at Publix and you take a picture with receipt hall you get five points you spend each like ten dollars over ten dollars you get ten points you spend over fifty dollars you get fifteen points and you spend a hundred and up you get yourself twenty points and over time once you have enough points you get cash back or a gift card of course so I had this app for like two years now receipt hold last year I cashed out for the first time and I'm gonna be cashing out pretty soon again a similar app to that is receipt pal you take pictures of receipts and get points that way. Then there's Fetch Rewards. It's another app you take pictures of your receipts and get points. So those are ways you can save shopping. Of course, like I said, some of these apps like Ibotta and ShopKit, you're going to be tempted to want to get more items. You just got to keep yourself in control. So, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll, I'll have links to those apps. But with that being said, have a good weekend. Bye for now.